Neil yeah. Vers, gosh, arm is, I don't know, 10 or 20% after being zero about 10 years ago. Yep. And they are just on a rapid incline in the, in the data center. What's they are. On? Speaking of first base, uh, spring training kicked off in the last few days for the MLB. So yeah. all you Red Sox fans, be excited until about July when they fall out of the playoff race. Um, Go Astros. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and we don't want to talk about the Astros. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Arm. So, you know, what was it, Pat? Back in 2018 or so, 2019 when they announced, I think 2018 when they announced Neoverse and actually launched it in 2019. So... Neoverse, for those that are listening for the first time, and I'll get through this very quickly, Neoverse is a, um, it's a portfolio and a platform that enables um, server, uh, folks that design silicon for servers, for data centers, for networking, um, to have that server, that infrastructure level um, IP. So higher performance, more reliable, so on and so forth. V1 launched in 2018, and a lot of folks, or 2019, a lot of folks thought um, ARM was crazy because they're the mobile phone folks. Fast forward four years, and they're, you know, what, what Pat said, 20, 10 to 20 percent of the cloud infrastructure market share right now, and they're growing fast. Um, and so this past week, by the way, they had a very strong earnings call. This past week, third generation of Neoverse uh, portfolio, portfolio launches, IP launches, under their compute subsystem, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, the highlights of it, you know, the two big parts, V3, which is the highest performing uh, platform. Um, think of that as like the really performant uh, CPU architecture. Uh, that launches with a, I think it's a 50% um, increase in performance per socket relative to uh, V2 or the second generation of, second generation of um, a platform, and I'll get to that. And then N3, um, which is kind of their price performance per watt kind of play for general purpose servers, let's say, um, demonstrated a 20% uh, performance per watt improvement over second generation um, of N2. So there's a couple of things in there I want to tease out because it's important. When I talk about a 50% improvement ARM has this thing called CSS, Compute Subsystem. It allows folks like um, Microsoft, AWS, GCP, those that design silicon, it allows them to quickly design, deploy, um, and get to production with silicon. It does a lot of the underlying upfront work that would take engineers a whole lot of time to get done um, so that you can deliver you know, new silicon in months instead of years. So that's called CSS, okay? Um, that's an important thing because as, as ARM compared their V series, um, this generation versus, you know, kind of improvements, they were comparing it against their old um, uh, uh, general purpose server portfolio. So that 50%, it's still very impressive, but it's not necessarily a like-for-like -like comparison. Not a big deal, but it's important to call that out. Um, the, the big deal is is that they are, are enabling these these uh, portfolios for quick design. They're continuing that, and the emphasis of the company has been on CSS. It's been on, hey, don't get caught up in the weeds. Don't don't um, don't hire or not hire, but don't uh, task your engineers with a lot of that upfront low level work. Let us get you to fifty percent or 60% and you do the remaining 40% of the work um, to get to production and get to value faster. Really great story. Um, I'm really curious, Pat, uh, on your perspective on this, but also on given the, the improvement on the V in the announcement from uh, AWS around doing a two socket part, what you think the real potential of this is down the line? Yeah, so uh, first off, their performance in the last three years is is nothing but in, impressive yeah in how they've lined and while the company doesn't talk a lot about what's going on in china uh arm servers again my data is not good but the data that is out there suggests 30 to 40 percent of the servers that are shipping are are arm based so mm -hmm. it's it's pretty uh staggering and 
you know, it's one thing to show up and, and have one of the major CSPs uh, come out with something. And it's another uh, to have uh, all four. And again, Google isn't public, uh, but uh, I put a 98% chance that they're going to show up with an ARM-based uh, uh, SOC out there. You've got the four amigos, and the fourth is OCI with Ampere. Uh, you 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 you've got something going on, and uh, it's one thing to get the um, I'll call the underlying hardware, uh, the dev tools um, uh, in place. And when AWS flipped a bit, it just became a self fulfilling prophecy that 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 this would uh, that this would be the case, and. It's, like, it's almost like what's next for ARM. I think the dual socket thing uh, was was important. Now we haven't seen all the details on that from from AWS, but it does certainly bring them into the scale up crowd, which I think might be able to help them in the on-prem data center. That's right. Or the colo data center with uh, SAP, uh, Oracle databases, and 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 stuff uh, like that. You know what I think is interesting on that, Pat? When we talk about, you know, somewhere between 10 and 20%, you know, of the cloud market share, that is solely on single socket. It's important, right? Because it's a, it's 10 to 20% of total market share based on only addressing that scale out kind of um, workload. They haven't touched any of that. That doesn't include any of that two socket um, market share. That makes that number that much more impressive. That totally does, yeah. but um, I think you know. Again, it's up to AMD and and Intel to show that you know they can holistically pull together a, a design that is uh, TCO uh, positive uh, for these companies because these companies are investing a ton of money to develop these chips. A lot less, you know. I think uh, doing Optron was about a billion two. And a leading edge SOC pulling in uh, ARM IP will cost you about a hundred million dollars. So the, the economics have dramatically shifted uh, over uh, over over twenty years. 